All right, this is the plan. It's always have, good to have a plan in the garden. So this is the uh, showy milkweed plant right here. It's got a friendly little spider right on the top. And the uh, showy milkweed is a couple of years old. It's been in this container for a bit. Oh, look, did I write something on here? Uh, I thought I had the year. Speciosa. Great. I know that it's speciosa. Showy milkweed. But what this plant needs is a home that it can thrive in and bloom. So we've got this area. I took out the yarrow right here. We're gonna take this yarrow. It's getting uh, it's getting scrapped here. I got plenty of yarrow. I'm gonna dump that. This is the location. We're gonna plant it right here, excavate this dirt, save some of the dirt, maybe put it back in around the plant when we get it in the ground. All right, fortunately, on I dug a couple other holes today. I noticed that there's drip line Every time there's drip line, it happens to be just about a foot away from the edge here, and this is no different. So I'm gonna avoid that. The site has been excavated. There's a couple of uh, pill bugs on their back. These are a good sign in the soil. These are decomposers. There's a bunch of stuff in here to decompose. And let's take a look at the plant. Down at the bottom, we've got all the feeder roots. Because this has basically been bottom watered, um, these are all feeder roots. There's some thicker ones, some thinner ones, and uh, there's probably some larger stems here on the inside that are probably swirling around. All right, I have uh, done one thing, which is uh, loosen up the roots right here. Basically, I just uh, I just scratched, just kind of scratched the bottom here with my hand like this until. Um, I loosened up some of these roots. These are all feeder roots, and so it's important that they're not just matted down. We want these to grow and expand, and that'll create the foundation for the growth. I went ahead and watered the inside of the hole here. You can see the water, and the reason this container's in here is because I want to make sure the hole is big enough in size. When I drop this in here, I want to make sure, so that's how I measured it. Boom, that was pretty easy. I've got the uh, plant in the hole, and now I just gotta fill in the soil around it and then water. We got the showy milkweed in the ground. We've got the soil thoroughly watered. The workspace is cleaned up. The equipment is clean, and the container can be reused and recycled. That concludes uh, planting this showy milkweed plant. Look forward to 2020 and seeing how it does.